Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Spy Kids again. My name is Spy. I am kids. I am 4D all the time in the world. <laughs> So this movie, if you want to call it a movie, came out in 2011. The last Spy Kids movie came out in 2003. Eight years of not existing and then existing again. It is distributed by the Weinstein Company. So just thought we'd give you that little nugget. <laughs> Parents guide. Let's start with sexy stuff. A husband and wife share a couple of kisses and some embraces. Marissa and Carmen wear form-fitting, occasionally cleavage-revealing outfits and skin-tight spy uniforms. Oh, they wear clothes. Oh no! Educational value. Rodriguez movies are all about entertainment. It's just you didn't learn anything. It's fine. Mild insults include butthead and a bradley othered stepmother a few other utterances of oh my god josiah you're gonna have to bleep that you can't say oh my god like it makes you feel like this was supposed to be in 3d even though it's in 4d if you went to the theaters and watched this movie you would have been given a scratch and sniff card and it would smell like farts puke or candy in future videos we're gonna have those bren's must and like josiah's hair we, we don't sell bath water we sell scratch and sniffs of us i hate everything about that idea agent cortez this is danger Diablo. Extremely dangerous. Those binoculars that tell you when somebody's dangerous. Subject has entered the location right on time. Aces. Why is he just wearing welding goggles in public all the time? Are right, he really out here just like on the cover agents be on the alert? It's the world's smallest CD. Whoa, I can't wait to listen to small music. This was like 2011 when digital stuff was popular and they're like, this is the future. Subject known as TikTok. Hold on, TikTok. Uh... They are the worst secret agents if they just trip over themselves. Nothing screams secret agent more than like six guys in black matching suits with sunglasses. Like, thank you. He's got time bombs. Be careful what you wish for. I didn't wish for anything. No one wished for anything. I love how his voice is constantly like one octave higher at all points. Yeah, I mean, he's TikTok. He's got the voice effect on. Sorry, I can't hang around. Okay, okay, so if time is frozen, he couldn't interact with that. I mean, it's Spy Kids, what do you expect? I'll get him faster with the zip line. You forgot one tiny detail. You're pregnant. You forgot one thing. You're pre pregnant. That's not a shoe. Contraction! Time to hang it up here. Why is he driving a smart car? Because he's smart. Why is she on the field if she's having active contractions? Why did that smart car make noise? It's a smart car. They don't have engines. They have motors. Wow, she shifted into gear. New road noise. New road noise. Call Wilbur. husband. Oh, there she is. Her husband is not a spy, yet he pops up on the spy screen in the spy car. You've got to be the most dedicated interior decorator that ever lived. Thanks for the exposition dump all in one sentence. Does he have video of her? He doesn't just see her, like, aggressively turning the wheel every three seconds. Like, no. I forgot this is the universe where smart cars have engines. Anything is possible. <laughs> Okay. Nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys. Die. If this got into the wrong hands, our world would have stopped in its tracks. Is this very common technology? 10 millimeter discs that fit in watches? That's what runs the music on my iPod. It is 10 millimeter CD discs with 400 megabytes of hard drive capacity. No one ever notices time. Until it's gone. Except they do. Just nobody owns a watch anymore. <laughs> They're like, hey, this is like a maximum security armored truck. Let's give them a window. <laughs> There's no bars on the window or anything. It didn't even look like there was glass. He could just like reach out and open the door. My family needs me now. And they can never know I was a spy. I respect that agent, but a word of advice. Tell them who you are. A word of advice. Compromise the U.S. government. I got a new idea for a reality show. It's called Wilbur Wilson's Spy Hunter. Let's make a reality show about infiltrating the Pentagon. Haha, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Wilbur Wilson, national criminal. I'm gonna expose classified documents this week. Aliens exist and the government isn't real. Wilbur Wilson, Spy Hunter. I have to live in Russia now. I am in a maximum security prison cell. Wilbur Wilson, Spy Hunter. He's just speaking to the security cameras for the show. <laughs> I got the death <laughs> sentence. Wilbur Wilson, Spy Hunter. And you'll have a new baby sister in five. 
four. They're just staring at a baby getting born. The baby's going to be born in five, four, three, two. Like, why is it just the iCarly intro? I'm Wilbur Wilson. Binoculars man. Spy hunter. From that side of the binoculars, you would have just seen his eye. You wouldn't have seen what he's looking at. That was his eye. He has a spy in his eye. It was an eye spy. Seriously, her gas bombs are gonna take the paint right off this house. I just want to make this clear. We've liked every single movie we've reviewed to date, and then we watched this. Like, fart jokes. It's just so you could scratch the card and go, EW, in the theater. Hate this movie. Yeah. Do you have time to eat breakfast with us? No, I don't. Do you have time to be a family? No. Bye. Time changing in the universe makes clocks move differently. If my show does well, then I'll have all the time in the world. It's the title. He just said the name of the movie. Ah! OSS headquarters, in case you couldn't tell by the fact that it says OSS here and here. They lost a lot of their funding since the last movie. They had to downgrade to the local community college. They rented out a few rooms. Apparently this entire <laughs> floor is bathrooms, because look at these tiles. Ew. We're running out of time. Why is this globe like a blue snowball microphone? Why does he have two globes? What does he need both of them for so he can look at the earth a couple times? Can you teach me how to be a spy hunter? Repeat after me. I'm Cecil Wilson, spy hunter. I'm Jude Hamburger, YouTuber, and I'll catch you <coughs> later. You don't think she's really an interior decorator? Well, look at this place. This place doesn't look that bad. In fact, I mean, it, it's kind of cool. Except for the masks on the wall. That makes me want to die. Doesn't mean she deserves your blue cheese dressing balm. My best. You know how blue cheese is physically blue? It's just been in that bag for a long time, Josiah. Don't question it. So she steps there. If she would have kept going, she would have been fine. Yeah, but she says, wait. Yeah, why'd you make her stop? If she would have walked on, you would have just had cheese on your floor. Except that's not cheese, it's paint. I mean, yeah, but, you know, I love the paint I put on my food. Oh, why'd you pour the cheese curls? That's man? my favorite shot in the whole movie, because it's so unnecessary. Like, he didn't need to spill his cheese curls on the floor. Are you carrying jugs of water with you as you walk across the room? Time is speeding up. At first, we were losing nanoseconds. In the time laboratories where we have a giant clock on the floor. Time. And like 17 digital clocks to let us know what time it is no matter where we look. TikTok has escaped. <laughs> They're like, oh, we need to establish that he's involved in this, but it's not like he was the villain that said time 415 times. You're really giving this to me? Hey, Rebecca, do you? How that necklace from last night? I was just wondering if maybe I could, um, maybe I can have it back? Why make her mad that you want the necklace back? Just be a spy and steal it back. They wanted to make you hate the main girl of the movie for some reason. Like, they kind of make you hate every single character in the movie, including the original characters from the old movies. Hey, this kid's smart because he has an E equals MC squared shirt in a book that just says quantum physics. Man, that quantum physics book looks interesting. I can't wait for quantum physics too. Not the Chrono Sapphire. Without that, our goose is cooked. This man has five globes. <laughs> He's just as a fetish for Earth, I guess. And clocks. Picture of the United States. Also, look at the amount of hourglasses he has. Oh, I get it. He has all the time in the world. Your old pally TikTok has just been made, and you're the only one that can scoop them up. You're back on the clock. What about the Kronos? Yeah, well, you can't clock in without Kronos. We fine. I love this music. Because for just that minute, it was just like, ding, 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 ding. Prepare to breach the entrance. What is that? The actual watch he was wearing looked like a spy gear toy. Probably was. <laughs> Everything in this movie is a spy gear toy. Let's go, Rebecca. Why would you call your sister by her first name? Yeah, you wouldn't just be like, Rebecca, let us transcend into this elevator inside of our fireplace in order to become safe. Thank you. Slide whistle! Cartoon sound effects. SpongeBob moment. Uh, is this there gonna be a kazoo? Just. This is not a prank. The dog is talking. I am a stupid, ugly dog. I usually have to eat grass or. 
a slipper to feel this sick. You're not funny. This entire movie could have existed without you. He was just kind of taped into the movie later on. We're going to have to initiate evasive maneuvers to get you to OSS even faster. If I had a dollar for every time a kid's movie said evasive action or evasive maneuvers, I would be Jeff Bezos. They're always like, take evasive action. Like, you don't know what that means. No one has ever said that. It's like a big video game. If I had a dollar for every time somebody said it's like a video game in a kid's movie, I would be Elon Musk. It's like a video game. I'm gonna hurl. Right, puke goes in the bag, not on my fur. You do not have posable thumbs. How are you holding that bag? Why is puke like neon colors in this universe? Is he okay? He's been eating cheese curls for like eight years straight. There's only one person I want waiting there to greet them. Headquarters. Why does the call center have a camera? Why is it not the webcam in the actual iMac? You're brother and sister. You're, you're fighting like cats and dogs, which I can understand why cats and dogs fight. Cats Shut dogs. up! I have a passionate hate for the dog in this movie. This movie would be passable if it wasn't for the dog. Yeah, the dog just is the nail in the coffin for the entire movie. At least the dog isn't making time puns. That's the only redeeming quality of that dog. It is Friday. Time's speeding up, Wilson. Get it to me yesterday, or there won't be a time tomorrow for you at the station. <laughs> Get it cause days? Get it to me Friday or there won't be a yesterday tomorrow for you at the station today. This is the old Spy Kids division. It's a door and they're like, wee woo, wee woo. They're like, oh my God, it's a door. You open the door with your classified handprint. It feels like every time Disney makes a sequel like 10 years later, they basically are just like, here's all the stuff from the last one. Get it, nostalgia, laugh now, be nostalgic. You're gonna feel things. Here's the props from the movies you could have watched instead of this one. Yeah, this is just a Robert Rodriguez's warehouse. Where adult spies couldn't go. That's from a video game. You shouldn't have that. But it is literally virtual. That didn't exist at all. And pranks. No! Stop making sounds! Her neck just makes that sound every time she turns around fast. OSS has us working around the clock. We have to stop the timekeeper before the timekeeper stops time. Shut up! <laughs> We have to time the timekeeper time and then time. We gotta do it in time or else we won't have time to kill time. And then the music in the background is like The Timekeeper. That's not much of a villain's name, is it? Oh, the timekeeper. Oh, has he got a watch, has he? Why is he John Oliver but a dog? Like not funny and British and talks a lot. I think John Oliver is funny though. What's he got a watch, has he? Make it at six o'clock right here. Oh my god. Kid it cause time? <laughs> <laughs> Bring it in. The Armageddon device will be here any minute, and we must be ready for its arrival. Shut up! You don't need to be talking right now. Hey, our plan is almost done! Did you drop your transmission? What is he, a car? What is it? Is there a problem with your rear differential? Gosh, like, what about this has anything to do with the transmission? Uh, the steampunk? Not how steampunk works. I know, they're really good at steampunk, aren't they? This isn't steampunk, it's just clock core, I guess. Clocks don't have transmissions. That sounds like a very specific metal genre, just clock core. It's all at 60 beats per minute. Get back on your marks, focus. I'm blinded. It's probably because you're wearing goggles! <laughs> Can he just shut up for two seconds? He could have been like, oh, that stinks. That could have been all of it, but no, he has had like 50 lines about a fart. Hickory dickory dock. The spy ran up the clock. The clock struck one, and the spy was done. Game set and match. Tick tock. Tick tock! Like, Stop! In that entire time, she could have just whipped out a pistol and shot him in the face, and this whole movie would be over. Better luck next time. <laughs> really starting to tick me off. Say one line without a clock pun. The last seven voice lines were all just time puns, and I hate it. I'm genuinely mad. Just stop. <laughs> oh. You don't have security clearance to be out here. It's a hallway. <laughs> they had to get into that room somehow. You had to have security clearance to walk in a hallway. Sorry, sorry. You know how as an adult, you're like four times slower than a kid somehow? Nope, this is a smart car engine universe and I will never call it anything else. <laughs> They, they're not going to gain any distance by doing this because they just stand there and watch it happen. Hold my finger. You have a paw! It's not a finger! This isn't funny and it's not going to be funny when he farts and that's the entire joke. This is the telematic organism oscillation transporter. 
otherwise known as Toot. This is when I turn off the movie. Fart jokes. Ha 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 ha! It's only the fifth one! No one's been able to crack the code. It's not a code. It's an anagram. No one was able to crack the code, but this kid just looks at it and he's like, yeah. An entire organization of super spies and nobody can get it, but this one little eight-year-old who knows about quantum physics. He's been wearing a shirt that says E equals MC squared, so he's probably smart. And it spells something else. Big time watcher at Parashot. None of them could figure it out, and yet, that computer has a specific program to remove the numbers and reposition the characters. Aren't watch shops, like, classy? They usually don't look like something at Six Flags. Password accepted. What password? You turned a watch! <laughs> Die. Yeah, for real, they would have, like actually been obliterated. That would have just accordioned their spine. Prime time means free time to spend with my kids. Great plan. Only in five years, they won't be kids anymore. You mean to tell me my kids are gonna grow? No. <laughs> <laughs> The boy trapped in time. Why is the backstory actually more interesting than the actual movie's main plot? I would actually watch a movie about that. Make that a movie. A separate movie in the Spy Kids universe, maybe. Spy Kids 5D. We touch you now. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're just there in the room. Spy Kids 60. You are the kids. Even if you're adult, you're the kids. A watch shop? Yeah, you know, the timekeeper? Oh my god, everybody has the IQ of a grape! I hate everything and everybody in this movie. How did they make everybody so hateable? This boy has a higher kill count than anyone in this entire movie. Yeah, even the villain hasn't killed anyone. Time flies. <laughs> Oh, Jude is leaving the set because it'd be inconvenient for me to get up right now. Thank you. Ah! Wilbur! It's not how computers work! Yeah, when you pour something on the keyboard and it just goes Pfft. Ow! <sighs> you ever just like... State? Hey, Putin, listen. <clears throat> anyway. Why did they just make him an entire just dirt bag for this movie? Junie was annoying, but this is just like... Ugh. You can diss Junie all you want, but you know he's got more email addresses than you've ever gotten. Nice watch. Oh, oh my god, he has a watch? <laughs> Danger D. Um, yeah. Did you know your name is an anagram? Shut up! Plot is hanging by a paper plate! You're the timekeeper. Why does he need so many watches? It's because he's the timekeeper. So but he doesn't need to keep that much time on him. He's a businessman. He needs to know what time it is for his peers. The door was locked and then he broke the lock and then he opened it and shut it behind him. But if the lock was on the inside, wouldn't that just allow him to open the door? Time's the test. Family is best. Crap. Is Dr. Seuss the villain? Stop with the puns! <laughs> Stop rhyming! What is this? <laughs> Why does that exist? There's no reason for any of that to exist. Congratulations. You caught a kid. Harvey Weinstein. What's with the jazz hands? It's called sign language, you idiot. <laughs> like, it's not that hard to figure out. Have you never seen anyone sign before? You can't actually travel through time. You're just creating multiple versions of yourself that appear at different points in time. That makes sense, but the way they show it does not. Also, what happened to that one? What happened to TikTok? All of the rest of them are just him. And then TikTok is like, I speak through a filter all the time now. Like He smoked helium cigarettes for 20 years. <laughs> this version of the timekeeper just did very hard drugs for a while. Keep away from my stepkids. Make that your kids. Make that your spy kids. Make that my step spy kids. Just call it kids. Step spy, spy step kids, kids. Once removed. Chronos! <laughs> They're gonna clock out! <laughs> They're gonna take lunch! I didn't tell them they could! We have to use the necklace to stop the Armageddon device! Once and for all! That's literally only the entire plot that's been for the past hour. Uh, we realized it sounded like a quick time event. And when you fail it, that's like the first sound bit you hear every single time. Oh, 
you know how he can just chuck a five ton gear <laughs> and then it comes back back boomerang gear that would have killed him that wouldn't have decapitated him that puts his kill count up to roughly 14. watching this movie has been a waste of my time i'm so ready for this movie to be done well guys i think we're all out of time for today that was the worst thing ever i desire a swift and quick death if you enjoyed this movie review leave a like if you want to watch something that isn't a waste of time we have other videos <laughs> watch time <laughs> And if you have some extra time, you can watch us on Twitch. We also have a Twitter society of them. Um, thank you for watching. And um, thanks for that one. Thanks.